Elder Nicole, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Just want to give a quick message this afternoon um, about tonight's Q&A session that is typically during the time of our <clears throat> Thursday time. God bless you, Julie. Julie, um, Etta, God bless you. Wanda, God bless you. Kami, what's up? Camille, uh, Florine, um, Angela, God bless you. Winston, God bless you. Thank you for joining with me in this afternoon. Um, just really quick, I'm just sitting here at the computer and just looking at several things that is, is, is going on right now. And, and uh, it's, it's amazing. You know, when we talk about you know, the kingdom of God, there's so many things that can distract. And there's so many things that can take us off course. And so one of the things I want to share with you is that God wants us to stay focused. He wants us to stay focused. Um, there's so many things that I could talk about right now. Um, but I want to share with you that, you know, what's going on is that normally we do Thursday night Q&A with Pastor Rodney, right? But what I'm going to do is that tonight um, I'm going to be doing the next part of our subject matter about the divided home or when you have to choose between God and your home. Um, and, and tonight we want to talk about, you know, immorality. Um, we want to talk about immorality. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about canceling tonight because there are so many people that gave me a call and said that they were in the hospital or, you know, they were not feeling well or they were sick. And so, you know, I wanted to give some time to prayer. And, and just as I was praying, the Lord said, no, the enemy is trying to stop this teaching from going forth. He wants to stop the teaching that's going forth because he wants people to remain in confusion. He wants people to remain in darkness, to, to do the things that are, you know, counterproductive to their lives. And so um, it's imperative that we really go in deeply into this particular subject. Um, for all of us have failed in one way or another. Um, we have struggled in one way or another, um, and it's important for us to live right with God. And it's hard, people of God, it is hard. It is hard to do the things that you know you're supposed to do, but, you know, there are so many different reasons why not to do it. There's so many different reasons why not to um, do the right thing. Yes, Florine, the enemy wants us to be confused. He wants us to, you know, keep doing things according to our regular schedule, keep doing things in a way that says, you know what, you know, just, you know, God understands. I mean, how many times have you even said this to yourself, that God knows that I'm weak or that God understands that I'm human, that I'm flawed, that, or maybe you may have said, you know, no one is perfect or, you know, <clears throat> you know, God knows that we're going to fail. You know, the arm of flesh will fail you. So many different derivatives. Right. However, this this concept of spiritual and sexual immorality is something that we really need to talk about. Um, God bless you, Anthony. Um, we need to talk about this and we need to get this clean and clear and just taking care of, you know, so that now we know, because once we know to do better, now we're responsible and accountable to do better. And, and we can do better. People of God, we can do so much better. You can do so much better. I can do so much better. Um, and we can, you know, accomplish so much more, right? When we do the right things. And so 
I want to encourage you to join me tonight at 8 p.m. Um, I really should do this earlier. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? But but 8 p.m. I think is a good time. But you guys let me know if there's a better time for you. Um, because I really think we need to get into this and really talk about this particular area that so many people are falling. Also, let's let's continue to pray for the body of Christ. Let's let's pray diligently for the body of Christ, not just your local assembly, but for the body of Christ as a whole. Um, let's pray because many of us, many of us are struggling. Many believers are struggling and fighting and wrestling and tossing and turning and, you know, and they're waging through tremendous warfares. And now more than ever before, um, there's a litmus test that's being done a spiritual litmus test that if you got it, you have it. But if you don't have it, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. You're going to be, you know, fixed. You're going to be flipped. You're going to be turned. You're going to be uh, stretched. You know, all these things are coming to really test as to whether or not you are in the faith. And there's a lot of people who are shouting and praising, but they're not in the faith. Um, there's a lot of people who's preaching and teaching and they're not in the faith. And we don't want to close our eyes to this life and hear him say, depart from me, I do not know you. And so I want you to join with me. Um, keep me in your prayers. I solicit your prayers. Um, I am not perfect by no means. Um, I just have a desire to live for him. I have a desire to serve him. I have a desire to, to just see the power of God in my life. And I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen his power manifested in my life. I've seen his victory in my life. I've seen his healing in my life. I've seen him and heard his voice in my life and speaking to me and so like that. But that's not good enough for me. I want more. I want more. I want more of him. I want more of his glory, more of his righteousness, more of his holiness, more of his perfection. I want more of his peace. I want more of his joy. I want more of his contentment. I want more of his rest. Um, I want more. And so I pray that you are right there with me, wanting and desiring more um, so that we can be glorified in his presence and we can take all that glory and give it back to him take all that glory all the blessings that god has given us and give it back to him and here's the beautiful thing <clears throat> think about this do you know that every pond that has an inflow must have an outflow or it eventually dies did you know that every pond, every, whether it be a river or a lake or everything, if it only has stuff flowing into it, but it never flows out, it never has something flowing out, then my friends, that pond, that lake, that river eventually dies. And so for those of us who God has been pouring into you, God has been pouring into you. God has been uh, feeding you. God has been supplying your need. And you're not flowing out. You eventually will die. And uh, Anthony, I see um, your, your statement. And, and understand this, you know, deliverance from the Lord is, is something that God, it is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And so because it's his good pleasure pleasure to give you the kingdom, then guess what? God says that we don't have to beg for the kingdom. No, we just ask him. All we have to do is believe. We believe. If we believe, the, same, the Bible says the same power that raised Jesus from the dead will be the same power that makes alive your mortal body. So I'm learning more and more 
that God is not so high up in the space until he cannot be touched with my iniquities, with my infirmities. He cannot be touched with my issues. No, the scripture says, casting all of your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Don't you know he cares for you? He cares for you. And so God loves you. He loves every one of you. And he wants you to experience his life. He says it is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So God wants to give it to you. We don't have to, oh God, I'm so sorry. No, yeah, you, you might be sorry. But the question is, do you really believe? Do you believe that Jesus already paid the price for your sins? And the scripture says, if you confess those sins before the Lord, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And so join with me. We got about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to set up and get ready. Um, so join with me at 8 p.m. Um, spread the word to everybody you know and let them know that we're going to be on at 8 p.m. this evening. Um, and we're going to talk about immorality sexual immorality and spiritual immorality that has corrupted marriages, churches, households, individuals, um, has tainted our view, and now causes us to not see God in all of his glory. And so I love you all. God bless you. And I look forward to speaking with you again at 8 p.m. Keep me in your prayers. I love you much. God bless.